Here's an example of a pneumatic hand that is activated by one plunger and on several administrations of the plunger and get the hand to close. And what we have here is really a pretty simple system of syringes that are attached to a little angle iron. The cylinder of the actual plunger is attached to a stiff wire that goes to a piece of pegboard here so that when you apply the pressure it pulls. You see how it pulls along. And all of the syringes are attached together through little T connections and ultimately it's connected to one large syringe. And in order to get the pumping action such that we can apply pressure one direction release and fill up the container again, you use a little check valve to allow the air to go in one direction such that when you press in this direction the check valve closes and doesn't allow the air to go the other direction.